my teacher would say, oh, this is a very difficult piece. And she would not say it to me, but I overheard it. I knew that that was a difficult piece and I could not understand why. I'm Pavel Kolesnikov. I was born in Siberia in Novosibirsk. I started playing violin when I was seven years old, six and a half. And about the same time, I also started piano, but that was my second instrument. And gradually it took over. And by the age of 16, I think 16 or 17, I made the decision to give up violin and concentrate on the piano. I like different things, I, I was very curious about the repertoire and I remain very curious about it still. I like the change. So I like to do one thing and then something completely different. So I was actually, that was one of the things that uh, I think made me love the piano. I was allowed to play many more things that I was allowed to do on violin. Oh, that was the last concert before the pandemic. It was very, actually it was very strange. Um, I think it was the 8th of March and I went to Kortrijk in Belgium. And the concerts were, that was a, a strange, interesting setup and I, went, I was curious about it. It was little concerts in a private house. So a few people would come into a private house and listen to the short concert and then I would repeat it a few times. And I was playing the Tempest Sonata by Beethoven and from Scraven pieces. And it was a rainy gray day, very suitable for that music. Um, yeah, that was a very strange melancholical trip. You know, I like to draw inspiration from different places and um, more often than not it comes from where you don't expect it uh, but when people ask me how exactly does it inspire you how does this or that answer influence you i most of the time i don't know i just take these things in and then they somehow melt together and they create this energy field, I suppose, this energy area from which I can draw the inspiration. I like children pieces very much and I like them more than I used to like. When I was growing up, I, I didn't want to do them so much. I wanted to, to do the serious stuff. I wanted to play the Beethoven sonatas and Chopin style. Uh, some of the things that we are, I'm going to play with Daria, I actually have not played it as a child. And I, in a way, I, I regret it and I don't regret it because now I have the chance to do that. Um, but I also included the pieces of, from Tchaikovsky's album. And they were actually one of the first things that I played when I started studying the piano. And I'm playing this piece in the concert uh, called Sweet Dreams, uh, which I didn't like. And my teacher would say, oh, this is a very difficult piece. And she would not say it to me, but I overheard it. I knew that that was a difficult piece and I could not understand why. I didn't particularly enjoy it either. And uh, well, and now I both understand and love it. And I know why it is so difficult. What I have to do is uh, get a small nap after the rehearsal, that's a must. And a cup of tea <laughs> before, and the cookie maybe. That's really important. Uh, and after, what I don't do, I think after the concert, I'm happy to do absolutely anything uh, except for going to bed. That's what I cannot manage. I could get quite a lot of adrenaline after the concert. <laughs>